and now we come to the big fun theme. It's about yes. troll and princesses, so exactly. about tales and bad guys and good guys. Well, actually, not so much bad guys. No. As you no. So this is the interesting thing. So Trolls and Princesses was created by a Swedish author, Pim Thunborg, and Pim came to us with the idea because in Swedish lore, trolls are really not that evil, actually. They are very respected creatures that live inside caves, inside the mountains, but apparently they have a fairly, like I want to say, respectful relationship with humans, and it's like, you, if you leave us alone, we'll leave you alone, kind of thing. Um, but it's a very different take on how we usually, in this part of Europe, perceive trolls that, you know, didn't have a very bad reputation. And in the in Swedish lore, like, trolls were very wealthy, they had a lot of riches, they had a lot of, like, precious stones and gems that they would get from the mountain, and they would hold, like, lavish banquets and feasts, and, you know, it's, so it's really interesting because I didn't know that side of, like, Swedish lore, and, and I discovered a lot while, while we were making the game. And so the interesting thing, and that is one of the main ideas you see in the game, is that trolls can shapeshift into humans. So they look like humans, like, not quite, there's a bit of a mis... like, if they behave a bit odd, you could assume it could be a troll, like, m you know, mimicking a human. But that's how they would come into, like, human villages and observe the humans, and so... and that's actually kind of part of what we do in the game as well. Alright, yes. sounds interesting. So we have here a look at the retail version of the game. Exactly. So this is indeed, this is the, the version that will hit stores. And you see, I mean, there's a lot of components. It's a big game for sure. Like, you'll see when you get the game, it's, it's filled to the brim with, uh, with materials. But yeah, we have one big central board that shows the different villages around the mountain. So we actually, you know, come from the mountain. We exit these caves and we're going to visit the little villages. And then this is the player boards themselves. They're like an inside look inside the different caves caves of, uh, that we play and every player starts you know with their own player board they're a little bit asymmetrical uh, the, the resource that you start with vary a little bit from player to player but generally I want to say all the actions are the same and so the idea of the game is that you have five of your troll meeple, so you have your five little workers these guys and you're gonna place them either in your cave or in the village they can move freely between the two areas Within your case, the principle is always the same. You have a number of cauldrons, you see, in, in, because there are three main caves. You place them on a cauldron, and you're going to perform an action in this location. However, I can always, for instance, add more and more of our, my little trolls inside a cave. And if I have more trolls, I can either do more actions or more powerful actions. That is up to me to manage you know, what I really want to do. And so you'll see it because, you know, on here you have the listing of the costs of the different actions. So the more trolls you see, the more trolls you're going to need to do these actions, but obviously they're more interesting to do. And it is up to you to manage the five that you have. Now, when we go to the village, however, that's a bit of a different story. We still are going to place them on these different cauldrons, but some actions are actually very expensive. You're going to need four, maybe five trolls. And since you only have five trolls, you know, it would be almost impossible to do these actions. But the way it works is that the trolls from the other players are going to help you. So whenever you do the more powerful actions in the villages, it's the number of trolls, regardless of their color, that counts. So as long as one of them is yours, you can use all the other player trolls to perform actions there as well. So it's, uh, you know, it's you scratch my back, I'll scratch yours, but I would rather you scratch my back a little bit more than I scratch yours. You know, it's that situation, really. <laughs> so it's, it's a really interesting take on the worker placement because it's more of a worker displacement. You never get your workers back. You just move them around all the time. And you have to indeed gauge, you know, where do I want to put my focus right now? What is everybody else doing? Because if it's getting busy in a part of a village, you might want to, you know, take in on the action as well. So it's a very interesting, like, take on, on the worker placement. I see. So in this case here are three yellow ones. So if I go there, I can... Yeah. Get it exactly. with the might of four. Then. Exactly. Oh. So if, if I would place myself here, I can use all three yellow meeples, actually. So all the four trolls here, for instance, we're going to be able to steal a church bells because everybody knows that trolls hate the sound of church bells, so they actually break them down uh, and the stuff like that. It's, it's a very funny game as well to explain because between kidnapping cows and swapping troll babies for human babies, it's interesting what you do in the game. 
right? So that's uh, game material and it's exactly. also available in the next months in the shop? Yes, so the English version is already out now in some uh, places. The German version will be available a bit later this year, probably around December, so just in time for the holidays, uh, with Miraculous. So they're publishing the game in German. All right. So that are your new games and yes. we had one new game where we yes. already have the video online. Yeah, Miss Force Delta, which is uh, also available right now. So thanks for your time here no, at the fair. Thank you so much. Uh, it was really good to see you guys. Wish you a very last day. Thank you. It's going to be a good day. <laughs> and hopefully it's sold out so you don't have to get all games we, back. We, yeah, we don't have a ton left actually, <laughs> so it's, which is always a good sign. But yeah, the responses have been very positive. A lot of people have been coming to say how they really like the games and how they like the look of the game. So yeah, we're very happy actually. So thanks. Looking forward to yeah. see you next year. Absolutely. Then. We'll see you in 2024. Bye. Bye.